I'm not looking at the camera right now. I'm looking at the script. Here, I'll prove it. This is the raw feed straight from the camera. This is possible with NVIDIA's new broadcast feature, which uses GPU power to adjust your eyes in real time. Honestly, I don't really know if I like it or not. I mean, it's certainly impressive, and I have absolutely no idea how it works, but I don't know, it just kind of gives me the willies. If I've moved my head a little too far in one direction, the illusion breaks and you can see my eyes pop back into where they're actually facing. Unsettling if you do it over and over again like I just did. The clear use case for this is video calls, obviously. How often do you get stuck on a Zoom call and you'd rather be looking at photos of lizards instead of paying attention? No, 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 it's not what it looks like. But I also see it as useful for talking head style content, like what you're watching right now, as it completely removes the typical teleprompter eye wiggle that makes it so obvious when one is being used. Even more unsettling is that it will sometimes pick up non-human faces and make them look right at you. And boy, does that freak people out. Hey, does anyone else's Jim Pickens poster do this when it thinks no one's looking? But what else does it work on? Using some OBS trickery, I can feed it whatever image I want. It's easy to make it completely break down by using movie clips. It seems to struggle with scale at the extremes. Like here when it puts Hammond's eyes too far apart. Or in this portrait where it can't figure out exactly where the eyes are supposed to be going. I appreciate the effort of putting eyes over sunglasses, but you know that actually makes it even more unsettling than when it's working properly. It also makes poor Ellie look like a complete sociopath. The habit it has of turning on and off makes some actors look like complete amateurs, constantly making eye contact with the camera before switching back to the scene. Unfortunately, most portraits don't seem to fool it. It flicks on and then off, or only works at certain sizes but some work excellently, even if it did change the colour of poor Nan's eyes. It is impressive how it can match the colour tone and grain, or in some cases, oil brush strokes that it sees in the real eye. When it settles, it's extremely convincing. Well, would you look at that. Now you're never going to know whether your co-workers or any YouTubers are actually making eye contact with the camera. Like me right now, for example. I'll let that sit with you for a little bit and I'll see you next time.